Hey, cute stuff. Hey, welcome to another pick a card with me, Duchess. All right, so today we are finding out here what is your next big win? What is coming here to make you feel like you have overcame, baby, and you are on top of the world? All right, so we got three images as always. I need you to tap right in into your good old intuition, baby, and choose the image that's calling out to you most. Please remember this is what a general collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. And this reading is definitely timeless, okay? So whenever you run into it, there's probably some messages in here for you. Now, let's go ahead and get it cracking. Choose between image number one, image number two, and image number three. And we're going to go ahead and get started here with these reveals. Hey, pile one. Hey, cute stuff. Hey. All right, boo. So we are talking about your next big win. What's coming in here for you? That's going to make you feel like you're on top, baby. That's going to make you feel like you are winning here at life, which is always a good feeling. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a shuffle here. And while I do that, I want to personally invite you to hang out with me at the three-day tarot slumber party retreat where it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun okay we're going to be healing meditating manifesting so we can live our best lives one-on-one -on -one time with me doing readings crystal healing we're having a dance party eating good food drinking good drinks it's going to be a hell of a weekend so definitely check that out in the links all right boo so let's see here what's your next big win your next big win okay we got healing from the past so some sort of trauma or something from your past here you're going to finally be able to move away from that and i feel like this is something heavy i'm hearing the word blockages so this is something here that has been creating blockages on your pathway it's been taking away your happiness it's been messing with your mind yes and so what's happening is that you are releasing the past you're healing from the past by doing things here that really make you happy that really make you feel fulfilled that really make you feel good you're putting energy and effort towards things that just make you feel like you're really tapped into the real you and so this is bringing a windfall here into your life so we're going to talk about what kind of windfall this is but what i'm getting here is that there's a lot of blessings here that's coming to you based off of you healing from the past or healing from doing things a certain type of way or understanding things a certain type of way having a certain energy here towards what really makes you happy i feel like you're really taking control of your life here okay is the energy that i'm getting like you're really in tune with what it is that you want what it is that makes you happy what it is that makes you fulfilled and because you're in tune with that here that is bringing a windfall here into your life let's talk about this windfall here that's coming in for pile one so we got the moon card we got the ten of wands we got the four of cups we got the two of cups yeah Hmm. The King of Pentacles. The Empress. I feel like you've really been holding yourself back here in the past, okay? Or you've been holding back based off of the past. Like, say, for instance, here, you always wanted to join a dance troupe or something i'm making up a random example right but you remember this one time you danced you know 10 years ago and twisted your ankle so you've been terrified ever since you're like you know what i just can't really do that but now it's like you are overcoming that energy okay you're like you know what whatever happened in the past is the past and what's happening now is happening right now baby and so as you jump into what was 
scaring you before clouding your mind it's like now you're seeing the opportunity to fulfill your own heart to be happy to find that stability that abundance here so it's like everything is really shifting and changing for you because your life's about to be feeling a lot more abundant a lot more fulfilled a lot more complete but it's like you couldn't really see this before it's like when we hold ourselves back or we make excuses or we focus too much on what's negative instead of positive and so you're having a major shift here which is really changing things and this wind fall here we can see is clarified with this king of pentacles and this empress which is very much similar energy okay so when you go to what fulfills your heart then things are really going to start popping off in your life things are really about to start getting very abundant here tell us more here ace of coin i feel like there's a lot of opportunity here for a sense of stability yes 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 i love it you're no longer waiting okay you're no longer waiting i feel like you're in this place here where you're finally ready to reap this harvest because the seven of pentacles is about not yet reaping the harvest but kind of planting the seed waiting to the perfect time but there's an offering coming in so i feel like this is saying here that this is the perfect time okay we're bringing balance here to where there was none and now we're getting a harvest, okay? There's this level of balance. So it's like things are changing very rapidly here with the um, with the tower at the bottom of the deck. Tell us more here for pile one. Resistance. Discernment. Yes, yes, and yes. We're going to pull one more. And attraction. So you're attracting what you want now because you finally are discerning here where either the outside has been creating um, resistance, where you've been creating your own resistance, focus on past things not necessarily going right. Like there's something here where it's like you're seeing a lot more clearly here to help you overcome a level of resistance that you've been feeling here in your life. And so with this here, it's like you're now attracting again that abundance so i feel like there's this deep level of as you release the past as you're not focused on what went wrong what could possibly go wrong what hasn't been working what didn't work maybe for someone else maybe it's not even you okay it's like once you get past that energy things really start to balance out for you things really start to blossom and things really start to bloom because you're realizing that all of that overthinking all of that focus on what's not working is what's creating the resistance okay and so now you're able to move forward go ahead and take claims to your windfall that you're ever so deserving of and overcome all of these struggles i feel like this is something here that is really going to make you feel fulfilled and happy and in a way you haven't been feeling deserving and so now you're using your will here to push forward yeah i feel like it was it was a choice for you something that you had to, to decide to go towards but because of past hurts pains traumas frustrations stresses things of that nature you just hadn't quite decided to go in that direction but now you are and so this is a major win because it's opening up a lot of doorways for you nine of pentacles yes i love the nine of pentacles that's somebody that has an overflow of abundance they really take care of themselves they're not really lacking for anything okay yes and this is because you're putting in the work you're putting in the energy you're putting in the time you're putting in the effort Again, no longer focusing on the past. Realizing here that the past is what has been holding you back. Focusing on what you no longer have control over, what has already passed, what is not even going on anymore. That's what has been holding you back. And you're realizing that. And so now that you've come to these realizations, you are moving forward full speed ahead. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. All of that helps times a million. Any donations, stars, all of that does as well. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. And I'll be talking to you later. Bye. All right, pile two. Hey, cute stuff. Hey, so we are talking about your next big win here. What's going to make you feel like you are getting ahead, that you are kicking um, life's butt, and that everything is working out beautifully for you? We're going to find out all of the good details here 
right here and right now as I give these cards a little shuffle shuffle. I definitely want to personally invite you to hang out with me for a three day weekend retreat. The Tarot Slumber Party Retreat, boo. Yes, it's going to be a hell of a good time. We are acting up and healing all at the same time, okay? So we got a dance party involved. We got one-on-one -on -one time with me for a one-on-one -on -one reading, one-on-one -on -one crystal healing. Yes, yes, yes. We're doing a midnight manifestation so we can get everything we truly desire, all right, boo? And we eating good, we drinking good. We are just going to be having a very good time. So check out the link for that. But let's go ahead and find out now what's your next big win. Pile two. Oh, those cards flew right over. All three of them. I'm going to take it. Okay, look. Your next big win here is that you're having some serious realizations and epiphanies here that lead you to start making decisions, all right, that really put you first, okay? It's like with this self-care, I'm getting putting myself first, making myself a priority. Pile two here, there's a deep essence here of you going through a major growth spurt here. When it comes to truly learning how to care for yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself, make sure you're putting yourself first, prioritizing yourself. I feel like you've been through it a lot here where you've, you've noticed that you've been over-sacrificing, over-giving, overdoing. okay? That you've just been in this place here where it seems like you're keeping everyone else happy but yourself. And so this is the energy that you're moving away away from and so this is a major win here for you okay because spirit is saying here that you got to realize how much courage is taking you and you really got to give yourself a pat on the back for being empowered enough to make this decision you are taking back your power is what's really happening here in this win because a lot of times when we aren't able to do the things that we need to do take care of the things we need to take care of and put ourselves first is because we're ultimately making a decision not to do so even we're being controlled by outside stimuli right so you're here taking your power you're taking control you're making the right decisions and these decisions involve you putting yourself first okay like beyonce said me myself and i is all i got in the end okay so with that being said it's like you know that if you don't put yourself first, nobody else will, okay? If you don't got your own back, then who the hell else is going to have your back? And so I love these decisions that you're making here to put yourself first in some sort of situation or maybe multiple situations, okay? So this could be what? Pesky jobs, pesky relationships, friendships, obligations that shouldn't even be your obligation. All of that stuff, uh-uh, we're not doing it. Let's talk about it more, pile two next big win the death card look major changes are happening major shifts are happening endings and new beginnings are happening here for you in this very moment is what i heard in this very moment so we got the chariot up oh, that three of pentacles we got here the six of cups we got here the six of wands the Four of Cups. Ooh, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so you are realizing here that you've been holding back here on a lot of happiness that you really deserve, okay? And so you're moving towards here, working towards a level of stability. You're moving towards putting yourself in alignment with people, places, things, situations here that make you feel fulfilled, that make you feel successful, that make you feel happy. And so this is part of your self-care is you aligning yourself with things here that actually make your life feel more abundant, more prosperous, more happy. We're moving away from anything here that creates a sense of stress, fear, anxiety. It's like you're turning your back on that and you're focusing more on what makes me feel fulfilled. And so with that level of fulfillment that you are are seeking, right, you're actually going in that, in that direction here towards being more fulfilled. So for instance here, I never realized that being such a workaholic was not self-care at all. I thought I was self-caring, but I wasn't. And so I had to have those realizations and epiphanies and realize I was actually miserable and depressed as a workaholic. Okay. And that I needed to change things. So I started aligning myself with other things like what? Going out dancing, like going to parties, like mingling, like um, throwing parties, things of that nature that makes me happy. Right. So there's something here where you're doing, you're taking care of you first and you're releasing a lot of heavy burdens and baggage here that put you in a stressed state because you're realizing you don't 
don't deserve that. You're like, wait a minute. I deserve some peace. I deserve some happiness. I deserve to feel like things are going good for me. And so you, that's where you're making different decisions here to make sure things are going good for you. You're realizing you have that power. You don't need to wait on nobody. Okay. You don't need to wait for nobody. Look. You're spending a lot of time assessing your situation because this is what's helping you to become more empowered as you look and decide, okay, what is it that I can do here? What is it that I can take charge of? What decisions can I make? And so you're making these decisions from a place of clarity, understanding here with this discernment. You're seeing things for what they truly are. You're seeing people for what they truly are, places for what they truly are, um, endeavors, projects for what they truly are. And you're deciding, does this make me happy or does it not? And if not, then I'm going to go ahead and exit stage left, baby. Okay. Because if I go in the opposite direction, everything I make that makes me happy is there. I love it. So this is all happening because you're taking that time to reflect on what it is that you truly want. And you're no lo longer allowing yourself here to be steered in a specific direction based off of outside stimuli, based off of the world. Okay. So for instance, even yesterday, I had some things I needed to handle and right, right in the middle of the day, I get a phone call to run errands for somebody. Now that was a little bit frustrating. You get what I'm saying here. So it's like, you got to decide, am I focused on what it is that I need to do for myself? Am I putting myself first? Or am I about to start running around like a chicken with my head cut off and doing this and that and this and that and this and that, and then feeling depleted and tired and miserable after the fact? So you're making major shifts and major changes here and you're realizing here where you can take control, where you have power. It's like you're trusting your instincts more and you're not holding back on making the decisions here that make your life a hundred times better. Give us more here for pile two. We got a three of wands, a queen of wands. The death card again. I love it. The seven of cups. And the chariot. Chariot was actually my card of the day this morning. Okay. So look, ultimately here, you're you're really looking towards your future and you're really passionate and, and focused here on exactly what it is that you're creating. So you're no longer overthinking. You're no longer holding back things. You're moving forward right in the direction here that makes you happy. I feel like there's a lot of resilience here that's following you. And because of your strength, your empowerment, this is like a journey that you're supposed to be on right now to become stronger, to become more empowered. As you're doing that here, a lot more blessings are going to come because this is the ultimate version of self-care okay taking charge of your life and leading it exactly in the direction that you want to go in i love to see you at the three-day weekend retreat where you get to hang out with me all right please like share comment follow subscribe all of that helps a lot if you like to send a donation stars all of that is greatly appreciated and i'll be talking to you later boom bye Hey, pile three. Hey, cute stuff. Hey. All right. So we are about to find out what's the next big win happening here in your life. What's about to make you feel like you are on top, baby? What's about to make you feel like you are surely getting ahead? We are about to find out all of the details here right now. While I shuffle, let me personally invite you to hang out with me for a three-day week weekend retreat where we are going to be having a hell of a good time baby okay so we there to act up a little bit we having a dance party we there to heal a lot of bit okay so one-on-one -on -one healing with me plus we're meditating plus we're manifesting plus one-on-one -on -one tarot readings with me of course right good food good drinks it's gonna be a hell of a good time you're gonna feel amazing when you leave so check out the link for that and let's go ahead and see here What's your next big win? Spirit, give us insight here for pile three. Their next big win. Okay, so we got new exercise program. Let's see what that's about. Let's see what that's about. We got get some rest. All right now, let's see what this is about. Family changes. Okay, we're going to pull one of these more. And we got a windfall. All right, boo. So... It looks like here, the next big change here for you is that you're really going to be focused here on, 
this is almost similar to pile two, but a little bit different, most definitely. But you're really going to be focused here on doing things that make you feel okay, good, well rested, okay, very healthy. There's going to be a change here in your dynamics when it comes to the way your family is run. So this could be here, maybe you're overdoing it, maybe there's always a new assignment for you. Like my kids always got something new for me all day, every day. Okay, my son yesterday, mom, please bring me some canes to lunch and this, this and that. And I'm like, boy, bye. I got things to do. At the end of the day here, there's something here where you're really going to start focusing here on allowing yourself to do other things that's not just responsibilities, okay? It's like I'm focused on things that make me happy. So whether this may be working out, maybe this whether it be going to the spa, okay? Maybe this be here just sitting at home, laying in bed and watching TV and not being bothered by nobody, okay? What, no matter what this is here, it's like you're really focused here on creating a dynamic change. And this is going to bring you an overflow here of abundance. So another Another example here for me is like I have family members that love to get my attention because that's what family do, right? They want to talk on the phone. They want to go out to dinner. They want to do this. They want a favor. No. Okay. At the end of the day, because um, right now I'm watching my show or you know what? Right now I'm working out or you know what? Right now I'm working on my new business venture, whatever it is. Right now I'm coloring in my coloring book, whatever. Okay. It's just like you're creating changes here with your family and with people that seem like family, family, friends, the, the dynamic is changing here where you're putting yourself first and you're not letting yourself here be bogged down here with everybody else's needs, wants, desires, issues, any of that. You get what I'm saying? Let's see here. Give us more here for pile three. Next big win. We got here a three of wands. We got here a nine of cups. We got here the hermit. I love it. So what's happening is here, I love it. You're really taking a look at things from an overall perspective. This three of wands, that's what I'm seeing. He's looking out over the horizon. You get your overall perspective. And you're realizing that your perspective here is that you're a lot more happier. Your cups are more filled when you're not dealing with all the friction of the world. When you're not dealing with everybody's problems, needs, desires. When you don't got to maintain and manage this, okay? You're able to focus on yourself. You're feeling zen. You're feeling fulfilled. You're feeling good. So you're really changing the dynamics and how you're handling the people closest to you. Yes, I heard my hands are tied. Look at this. Yes, baby. Okay. And you're letting people know, hey, wait a minute. Sorry, my hands are tied right now. Okay. And you don't even got to be doing nothing special. My hands are tied because I'm leaning back and kicking my feet up. Okay. My hands are tied because I'm listening to music, baby. Okay. My hands are tied because I'm clipping my toenails. I don't care what the hell it is. My hands are tied. I can't do it. Can't deal with it. Can't focus on it because I'm focused on me. I'm loving this. Yes. Okay. So you're looking at things a lot different here from a perspective of your own deservingness and putting yourself first. That's the main thing that you're really focused on right now. And so that's why I was saying there's some similarities here to Puff too, but this one's just different just because it's more focused on the family dynamic, those closest to you that's always trying to pull on your energy, okay? So things are about to move forward here where you're feeling a lot more relaxed. You're feeling a lot more hopeful. Yeah, because I feel like you've been so wore out and so burnt out and so tired. It's like you lose hope at times. You're like, you know, I really wanted to do this for myself, but maybe later. Okay, I really wanted to take this nap, but maybe later I can. You know, you've been maybe later in forever, but now later is here, baby. Ain't no more later. It's right now. Yes, because you're releasing the fear here that makes you hold back from doing what's best for you. You're releasing that. You're no longer afraid to say, you know what? I can't do that. You know what? That doesn't really work for me. You know what? I don't have time for that. Okay. And you're going to realize here that people going to accept it either way. That's what's going to happen. Okay. There was nothing to fear at all. People going to accept that. No, you're putting yourself first. People are going to accept that. No, your hands are tied. Okay. People are going to accept here that you, you busy, whatever it may be. And you're going to realize that there was nothing to fear at all. That you should have been taking your care of yourself first. You should have been kicking your feet up, baby. You're going to be like, damn, it was this easy. I should have been done this. What was I waiting for, really? Why was I holding myself back? 
Yes. You're going to find the blueprint here to put in yourself first, honey. Okay. You're finding the blueprint. You're realizing here, maybe it's not as difficult as I thought. Maybe I can create some happiness here and let people know, uh-uh. Nope. Look, the five of wands again. Uh-uh. We are saying, uh-uh. Like Cat Williams said in that in that comedy special. Uh-uh, Mr. Jackson, okay? No, we are not doing it, okay? We're, we're tired of the drama. Yes. I love it. It's like you're tired of feeling like, you're doing so much, but getting so little return, so little reward. You're ripping and running all day. It, it, you've done this for that person and done this and took care of this. And by the time you're done, it's 10, 11 o'clock at night. You tired. You didn't get to do nothing you wanted to do. Okay. And that's done and over with. It's done and over with. Yeah. So it's like now when you focus on what, what it is that you're doing with your day, these are focuses based off of what inspires you. What makes you happy? What makes you feel fulfilled? What makes you feel full of strength? And so this is going to be a windfall of abundance here in your life because you're finally moving forward. You've been stuck in a cycle and you're no longer about to be stuck. You're finally moving forward from the friction, from the demands of everybody, from the demands of life, and you're moving towards your happiness. You're moving past defeat. You're moving past all of these obstacles as soon as you allow these changes here. OK, to unravel magically in your favor. All right. I love to see you down at the Tarot Slumber Party retreat to hang out with me for three days. It's going to be a blast. Like, share, comment, subscribe. All of that definitely helps. If you want to leave a donation, some stars, all of that is greatly appreciated. Check out my website. I'll talk to you later, boo. Bye.